Hey everyone, welcome to Friday Night Live. I'm so sorry I can't be with you in person tonight, but we've got a bit going on at the moment. So I thought I would bring this recipe to you. It's um, one that I tasted recently from the lovely Nathan in my team. Um, we were getting together and he brought these banana and oatmeal energy bars. They are incredible. Shout out to you, Nathan and Dads Can Cook on your page. So let's get cooking. They are great. So I've preheated my oven to 180 degrees and now we're going to grease a 20 centimeter and line it with baking paper. So I'm just gonna use this tray because I'm gonna do a double batch. These were really yummy and I plan to give some to some friends. So I'm gonna get my baking paper and I'm gonna scrunch it in a ball and I'm just going to wet it a bit and wring out all of the excess water. Give it a bit of a shake as I'm pulling it apart to get rid of that excess. And this I'm going to line the baking tray with. Now, when you do that, it actually helps to form into your tray a lot better rather than trying to sort of tackle the edges and things like that. So one of the best things I ever learned at a cooking class was that little trick. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pop in our 200 grams. Well, was 100, but we've got 200 grams of pitted dates, metadrill dates. And we're going to pop the lid on and give that a blitz. So I'm going to do this. It says for two times. I'm going to do it for four. those dates are all blitzed up all nice and yummy and it's telling me to scrape down the sides of the bowl I think all of my spatulas are in the dishwasher give me one second okay that's real isn't it for you okay quickly down all right now we're gonna pop in I don't have any walnuts but I had some pink cans so this is another reason why I love the Thermomix because we can literally make use of what we already have in our pantries rather than, um, yeah, put, going downtown to buy more ingredients. So I'm not going to do that. Now we're going to pop in our rolled oats. So I've just got some oats there again. I've put in double the amount and some coconut. How good is this? All really cool ingredients now i've got these bananas they're not looking so flash so i'll quickly peel those bananas and pop them in now isn't it good that we've got those dates in there for extra sweetness but the fact that these bananas are so ripe their uh, fructose has <laughs> increased as they've um you know the skins have gone browner so these don't this recipe is super super delicious but also doesn't have a have any processed sugar in it so we're going to pop in some salt so it's saying half so we'll put in a teaspoon of salt and we're going to put in half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon is also good for us and we're going to pop the lid on so when you're doubling a recipe you need to increase the time by at least 10 percent so sorry at least 30 percent so we're going to pop it on for it says two times but we'll do it three times and check it out have a look and see how well it's combined if it needs more then we will go back so we'll just check it out look at that looks pretty good but i might just put it on for one more time because there's a few nuts in there that still could do with a bit of a blitz but 
as you guys all know, I've just purely doubled this recipe. One more for good luck. <laughs> but seriously, how quick and easy has it been to pull all this together? So now I'm just going to empty that out onto this tray if I can get it all out. And just, I don't know if you can see that. Let me just change the camera a little bit. How's that? So now I'm just going to pop all this in here. So like I said, this is a double batch with no processed sugar. It's all from the fructose of the dates and our bananas. Beauty. I'm just gonna roughly push it down into the tray and then I'll use a, the back of a spoon just to level it all off. So if I push that down, like so. You can also use the, make these in your, um, what's it called? Your snack bar molds that you can buy in the mix shop. They're like perfectly sized muesli bars, but because I'm doing a double batch of this today I just thought well I will do it in this larger tray and then that way now you could add some chop chips or milk chocolate over the top of them once they're done if you want to entice the kids to eat them and they can have chocolate then <laughs> that's how I get around it <laughs> so this is gonna go in the oven how's that looks good doesn't it so I'm just flattening that out with the back of the spoon beautiful now it says to I'll just double check I've done that right. Yep. And then it says, um, score the surface of the bar um, into bars approximately four by 10 centimeters. All right, so I'll just, I'm just gonna go in the middle. Maybe, yep. And just score it all the way down this will make it really easy for you to snap them when you so I'll go in the center again center again so these are quite the size but I'm going to because a good friend of mine always says make them smaller and then if you have two it's better on your hips <laughs> There we go. I've scored all that up and now I'm gonna pop it in the oven for about 45 minutes. It says 30 minutes, but we will put a little bit extra on just because it's a double um, batch and I'll get you to check it out once we're done.